Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoyed that silly unboxing intro there. This is the 6105 reissue. I wanted to record my first impressions of the watch and share with you guys because Seiko has just done an absolutely fantastic job of recreating probably, I guess arguably their most iconic and well-loved diver design from their storied history. Now I'm filming, filming this video outside. I thought natural light would be appropriate to show just how beautiful and finely executed the watch is. Please excuse the birds and any background noise. Hopefully the audio is not too bad. So first impressions, uh, it's just stunning. It's beautiful. They did a perfect job with the proportions and the details and I was worried it might be a little bit too bulbous, a little bit too big, uh, but it's really not. I brought a couple other watches to kind of do a side-by-side. -side. Here is my Rolex GMT Master 2, which you guys can see, a 40 millimeter uh, watch compared to a 45, visually it's not a huge difference and the lug-to-lug -lug length is very similar. Now the other one is another large Seiko Diver. This one's the Sumo. It's actually the same diameter, but it has a much longer lug-to-lug -lug length and I think it's slightly taller as well. So if you're worried about the 6105 reissue, about the size, I wouldn't. I think the size is awesome. And on wrist, it's not too bulky, it's not too fat. And I love the narrow 20 millimeter uh, waffle strap here. It's a very sharp strap. I guess my only real complaint is it's kind of a dust magnet um, just with its composition, but I can live with that. Now I got this about 24 hours ago. I set the time. Uh, I want to do a uh, time compare here. I'm wearing my G-Shock and you guys can see it's running about one second fast after um, after 24 hours. So I do expect that to kind of settle in, maybe be a little less accurate, but uh, very impressed. You know, the 8L in here is multiple position and temperature regulated, and they've done a very nice job with it. It's running very accurately. Here's the bezel action, super smooth, silky, kind of quiet, and I, I would say it's the nicest bezel action that I've handled on a Seiko. Is it Rolex-like or Tudor-like? Is it as good as those watches? Uh, I'd say no, I, I, but I, it's still very, very nice. Now, any other first impressions I'd like to share with you guys? Uh, I'm just wowed at the execution. It is, you know, done by hand, at least finished by hand, right alongside Grand Seiko, and it's apparent. I mean, you look at the edges and the Suratsu polishing and uh, just the overall sharpness, clarity, and detail work. And you can tell that it is just done at such a high level. It's perfection, really. I'm very excited that uh, Seiko just put their best attention and effort into doing the best job they could with this iconic watch. I mean, you'll see, even my camera's having a hard time focusing on the watch. There is a lot of light play and, and, and whatnot. It's very dynamic. So anyways, guys, I'm not gonna go too much into details. We're gonna save that for the full review. We'll also save the uh, comparison to an original 6105. We'll talk about pricing and exclusivity and all that other fun stuff in future videos, but let me know what you'd like to see. Let me know your thoughts on the long-awaited 6105 reissue. Big thank you to you guys for watching. Let me know if you have questions, and I'll see you in the next one.